This is me, limping with knee pain after running 45 miles. This was devastating because one of my biggest goals in life is to run a 100 mile ultramarathon. My knees were so bad, I didn't know if I'd ever fully recover. That is until I started walking backwards. Allow me to explain. When I was learning to work out as a teenager, I was always told that your knee should never go over your toe. This comes from a study done by Duke in the 70s that shows that there's more pressure on the knee when the knee is over the toe. And to this day, this is a widely accepted belief. And it wasn't until I came across a man by the name of Ben Patrick, better known as the knees over toes guy, who offered a slightly different perspective. He says, yeah, there's more pressure on the knee when the knee is over the toe. But instead of avoiding this position altogether, we need to get strong in this position because your knees can only become fully bulletproof when they're strong in a full range of motion. <laughs> to put it simply, it's impossible to not let your knee go over your toe. Every single time you go for a run or you walk downstairs, your knee is over your toe. So completely neglecting this position altogether makes zero sense. Okay, so then what's the first step in getting strong with your knee over your toe? Well, according to the knees over toes guy, you just gotta walk backwards. Specifically, he suggests walking backwards three times a week for 10 minutes. And if you do this for two years, that comes out to about 100 miles. He says he's never had a client walk 100 miles backwards and not feel improvement in knee pain. So hearing that, I decided to put that to the test and I walked one mile backwards every day for 100 days. And it did not take long to see results. It's the first day in five months that I have ran forwards. I just ran one mile and I feel great. And all I've done is walk backwards. As a quick disclaimer, while walking backwards can definitely improve knee pain, I am not suggesting anybody gets off the couch right now and runs a mile backwards. I slowly worked up to this distance and I was never fighting through pain just to hit the one mile mark. But even just walking five minutes backwards before this whole challenge started, I could not believe how good it made my knees feel. But upon further research, I should not have been so surprised. There's actually a pretty robust community of backwards walkers and runners and they have evidence to back it up. Walking backwards has been proven to help with balance in elderly people, it improves hamstring flexibility, and my personal favorite, it's been shown to significantly improve vertical jump and sprinting. So yeah, this shit's legit, but it's definitely not easy. The fastest I've ever been able to do one mile backwards has been 11 minutes and 59 seconds, and I'm going to try to beat that record. The world record is five minutes and 40 seconds, which is absolutely insane. Later that same evening. It's not that I'm having a hard trouble breathing. Are you sure about that? But from like 100 meters in, your legs are burning like crazy. I think I've already reached the point that doing this can actually help me, and now I'm just doing it for this arbitrary number of 100 miles. I did it. After 100 days, I'd say my knee pain was 90% gone, but with the dream of running 100 miles still in mind, this wasn't even close to being good enough. So I leveled up my backwards regimen. I started using a treadmill to add more resistance and accompanied by other exercises on Ben's program, I can now proudly say that my knee pain is 100% gone. I'm honestly faster, stronger, and more flexible than I've ever been. And I owe a huge thank you to Ben for showing me that if you can walk, you can reverse out knee pain one small step at a time. Crazy enough, the day that I started editing this video, I just so happened to bump into Ben. I told him that I was making a video about walking 100 miles backwards and that I've been doing his program for months, and he offered to shoot a clip for this video. Check this out. What's up, Ryan? It's really nice to have met you. I wish you luck on your 100 mile adventure. I hope your efforts to improve backward make it smoother and more enjoyable for you when you go 100 miles forward. Much love, brother. How cool is that? <laughs> uh, if you can't tell, I'm pretty passionate about this topic and it's taking me an embarrassing amount of time to edit this video. So if you have any questions about this journey, leave it in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.